Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink, and here is my second card in video using the Mama Elephant Botanic Hello. In the last video where I used this, I showed how I had stamped the image onto Canson XL watercolor paper using my Mini Misty, and then I heat embossed it with Detail White embossing powder, and I will link to that video at the end of this one if you missed it. This time I decided to use my Mission Gold watercolors to watercolor in the image, and I am following along with this week's color throwdown challenge, which I am the hostess of. I always link to the challenge in my blog post, which will be linked directly below the video. If you guys would like to check it out, anyone can play along. We have a different color combo and inspiration every single week. And then there's an entire team that creates all these fabulous cards based on this color combo. So this week it is my turn to be hostess and I loved the color combo that I had chosen, so I had to use it for this image. So I'm using just purple. I don't have the names. I don't bother writing down the names from this set, um, but I'm just using a purple watercolor that I mixed up. And on a couple of the flowers, I just used a little bit more of the actual watercolor and a little less water to get the deeper um, shades of purple. And then the lighter shades, I just added a little bit more water. So just kind of playing around, not doing anything super fancy. Um, sometimes what you can do is, especially with an embossed image like this, it's really easy to wet the area you want to color first with clean water and then you know you drop in the watercolor. You can experiment. Um, I've had a lot of comments lately from people that don't feel comfortable with watercolor. Trust me, I've been there. I still am not. I'm not an expert by any means. Um, when I first started, you know, playing around with watercolor, that was what, a couple years ago maybe? And could not get the results I was wanting. It was confusing. I was getting frustrated, but it definitely is when people say practice makes perfect, which is so annoying sometimes, <laughs> but it's true because the more I've done it over the years, the last couple of years, the more I've experimented and tried it and done more things and learned more things, it's, I start getting the results that I want, or at least results that I'm happy with because there sometimes, you know, watercolor has a mind of its own. So with this, I watercolored everything in, keeping it to the color combo. So purple, there was two shades of green, and then like a wood kind of a shade. So that's what I used to watercolor in the word hello. And then when everything was dry, I trimmed it out with my scissors, giving it a little bit of a border. And then I set that aside, and then I've got my big shot with the multi-purpose platform here. I have the multi-purpose platform closed and one cutting pad, and then I'm using one of these We Are Memory Keepers, like the Next Level Embossing Folder. This is the Wave Folder, and that's my sandwich stack, just that. Um, my old Big Shot, I had to do a completely different sandwich stack, so you do need to kind of experiment with anything like this, like when you're switching from die cutting to embossing, etc., etc., because even between machines, it can vary widely. So I tried to use my old sandwich stack and nearly busted this machine. So then I discovered it was like, okay, I had to do it just the way I showed here on video. So that embossed this really pale green cardstock and gave it that lovely texture, which you'll see a little bit better at the end. And then I backed that with a piece of um, MFT safety orange cardstock, which was like kind of a perfect color for that like wood brown slash of a color. And then I decided to pop up the um, cutout watercolored hello with some dimensionals just to give it a little bit of texture. And then my card base is just some heavyweight white cardstock that I cut to um, 11 by five and a half or eight and a half by five and a half. And then I'm scoring it at four and a half. So it'll be a top folding A2 size card. So five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I'm using my Zyron tape runner which I just, I reach for every once in a while. I, I love this. I'm so used to using my ATG that I don't reach for this as often, but this is a great um, adhesive runner. I really like it. And this one's, uh, this larger one is a lot wider. It puts down a wider piece or strip of adhesive than the little mini one that I've shown. So I use that to adhere the embossed piece as well as to adhere the whole card front to the card base. And then for the inside of the card, I decided to ink up that large hello again, this time using Memento's New Sprout ink. It was like the closest match to this green that I had. So I stamped that on the inside of the card and then I grabbed the sentiment that I wanted to use from the set and I'm gonna ink that up with Hero Arts Black ink. And I'm just gonna stamp that across the center. It's hard, again, it's hard to see on camera, but in the picture at the end you can kind of see. But I just made sure to stamp that sentiment basically right in the middle of the word hello. 
So once I was done with that, I had to add a final bit of embellishment to this. So I grabbed some sequins from my stash and I'm using Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear Mix as well as the four millimeter amethyst and pansy purple sequins and being fairly liberal with them because it's been a little while since I've used sequins. So it's like I needed my fix. So I added a bunch of them to my card and then I'm just using my crystal katana to pick them up and then squeeze down a little bit of my multi-medium matte adhesive. That is definitely my adhesive of choice when it comes to sequins, because if it oozes out at all around the sequin or through the sequin, it dries matte and is not sticky at all. It is the way to go with this. And I've said this before, I love this Crystal Katana. It was a hefty little investment for what the tool is, but it is so fabulous. It, I love it. So that finished my card for today. So as always, I will have links below the video to my blog post with the info for the color challenge, as well as links to all the supplies used. So you can check that out below if you are interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.